Rabotai, for a few minutes, let's talk about this holy day that is about to come to us, and that is the day of Hoshana Rabbah. The day of Hoshana Rabbah, on the outside, looks like a regular day of Chola Moed. Al pi pshutam shel dvarim, it's a Chola Moed, mutar bimlechet devar aved, just like any day of Chola Moed. Not only that, in the Torah it doesn't say anything about Hoshan Rabbah. Not in Torah Shebikhtav and not in the Gemara. It doesn't say you look high and low in the Talmud Bavli, Talmud Yerushalmi. It doesn't say anything, meaning anything about the specialty of Hoshan Rabbah that we know. That's what I'm talking about. Obviously, what was done in the Beit HaMikdash and the Hakafot around the Mizbeach and all that is spoken about. But we know it as a day of Yom Adin, we are being judged again, it's the day of Hatima again, it's a day of Mesirat Abtakim, all types of things that we don't find in the Gemara, specifically about the day of Hoshana Rabbah. In fact, in the Gemara we know that when is Hatima Tadin? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the day of Hatima Tadin. Where do we find, where do we get this idea about Hoshana Rabbah? That's from the Zohar HaKadosh. The Zohar HaKadosh is the Makor where we find that Hoshana Rabbah, Yoma Shevi'a'a Dechag Husiyuma De Dina Upitkin Nafkin Mi Bey Malka. That's the day of Siyuma De Dina. That is the day, the last day of the judgment of Din, our last chance. And that's when the Ptakim, the slips of paper, so to speak, are given into the hands of the Malachim to carry out the decrees to carry out the sentences, to carry out the gzerot, the gzerot tovot, and chaz v'shalom the other way. It's an interesting thing. How could it be such a day that is so revered? We stay up the whole night. We say slichot. The tefillah is so much longer. Shana Rabbah is a, is a very, very serious and holy day. How could it be that the Gemara doesn't talk about it? Echitachen. Now, the fact that it's in the Zohar Kadosh, that's it. That's enough for us. That's Torah Shebaal Peh tells us about it. No, no doubt. But why is it not mentioned in the Gemara? Now, up until today, I really always had this question, and I never really had an answer. Today I saw a shocking answer to this. I saw B'Shem Rav Shlomo Zalman Obach, something amazing, Rav Shalom. He says that in the time of the Gemara, if it would, would have been revealed in the Mishnah or in the Gemara that Hoshana Rabbah is Yom Hadin, the people at that time were in such a level that they would have taken it so seriously. Yom Hadin? We're being judged? It's like Yom Kippur? It would have taken away from the Simchat Achag. They wouldn't be able to handle that together with Simchat Tachak. The Cherdat Adin would be so strong that they would actually desecrate the Chiyuv of being happy. We have a Chiyuv to be happy. On seven days, Basukot Teshvu Shivat Yamim, V'samachta Bechagecha, U'smachtem Lifnei Hashem Elokechem, Shivat Yamim, it's going to disturb the Simcha. So it was only revealed later on. When the Zohar HaKadosh was revealed to us, it was much later than the time of the Gemara. And then... As you know, let's talk about ourselves. We have to strive to feel something of the charada of the Yom Adin of Hoshana Rabbah. I don't know if it's really interfering with our Simchat Tachag, right? Let's put it that way. It's not really. So we can handle it, let's call that. Aval, interesting to know, that's why it was not revealed in the time of the Mishnah, in the time of the Gemara. I find that fascinating. B'Shem Rav Shlomo Zalman So just... A few words here, he brings, I have a sefer called Befikudecha Asicha, about all the Moadei Hashana. And he brings from the sefer Bnei Yisachar, he says like this, what's this inyan of a second day of Chitum Hadin? Yom HaKippurim, the Gemara says, is the day of Chatima, right? At the end of Yom Kippur, we already say the Lashon of Chatima, of sefer Chaim Yizachar Venechatem, we say. So now, why do we need another Chatima in Hoshana Rabbah? Says the Bnei Sachar in Chodesh Tishrei Ma'amar Yudbet, 
שהוא בכדי לשמור את הגזרות הטובות שנגזרו עלינו מן המקטרגים. The purpose is a very positive purpose. It's in order to guard and to watch over the good decrees that were decreed upon us so that the mekatregim, the prosecutors, the malachim who are prosecuting should not interfere and should not say, wait a second, wait a second, what'd you say? He's going to have this good thing or that good thing. Who said he deserves it? No, 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 no. So HaKadosh uh, Baruch makes another chatima, another day of sealing, to seal it with a double seal. We find in the Gemara, in Masechet Avod HaZara, B'davar Chashuv Ba'inan Chotam B'toch Chotam, the Gemara talks about, let's say, wine, which is very, which is very expensive. And you're giving it over to a goy to take it somewhere. So now, you don't know by the time it got to the destination, maybe he switched it with his own wine and he took, and he took the wine. And then you go into a problem of uh, yain of a goy. So therefore, the only way it's muta, whole Gemara, extensively, from Dav Kavtet and on, talks about chotam beto chotam. If you seal it with a double seal, Right? In Hilchot Kashrut, we, we know this. Double seal. So we say that he's not going to be Toreach and to be Mizayef. He's not going to, you know, remove the two seals and to forge, meaning and to replace it with a different wine. Chotam beto Chotam is a Shmira. Ve'en lecha, says the Bnei Sachar, davar chashuv ba'olam ki Yisrael. There is nothing more important and precious in the world than Am Yisrael. So even though already on Yom Kippur their fate was sealed for salvation, for forgiveness, for compassion, for life. A double seal. Kadosh Baruch Hu is making sure that this is going to go through. Something which is important, a double seal, make sure that it is guarded. Once the Gezera is made in a good way for Am Israel with a double seal, Yom Kippur and Oshan Araba, so now they can't say anything, they can't come and say, oh, what about this sin, what about that sin? Too late. It has been sealed, it has been decreed. Similarly, in the Sefer Yismach Yisrael, he quotes as follows. So then we don't worry that the Goy ha- tampered with it. Listen to this. On the day of Oshana Rabba, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes all the future tefillot, all the future requests of Am Yisrael, and all the schuyot, and all the good things that are bound to come to Am Yisrael throughout that year, and he lifts them up to a place where there is no contact to any of the mastinim, to any of the mekatregim. So this goes together, he says, with the words of Reb Naftali Mirovshitz, Alav Shalom. On the pasuk it says in Parashat Chaye Sarah, Vayavrech Hagemalim by Eliezer. It says, and he crouched the camels. Leet erev, leet tzet hashoavot. Le'et Erev means towards the evening time. Le'et set ha-sho'avot to the, when the time was, was almost, when all those who are coming out to draw water, so before that time of the day, that's when he brought his camels next to the Be'erot. Says Rav Naftali Mirovshitz, She'piresh dekaya la Kadosh Baruch Hu. This pasuk is a hint about a Kadosh Baruch Hu himself. She'le'et Erev, Le'et set ha-sho'avot. What's le'et erev? Be'yom arava. You know, Hoshan Araba has another name. In Chazal, we find it as Yom Ha'arava. The day of the arava, the day that we take the arava and we do chibut arava. In the Bet HaMikdash also was a big deal. Yom Ha'arava. Be'yom Ha'arava kesheyotzim imei simchat bet ha-sho'eva. Le'et erev. Erev is from the word arava. Le'et set ha-sho'avot. 
when we are about to go out from the time of Simchat Bet Shoeva, from the time of Sukkot, when we were Ushavtem, when we drew water, and we're about to leave this Chag HaSukkot, Hu Mevarech Vezocher et HaMitzvot Umaasim Tovim Sheosim Israel, Vayavrech HaGemalim. Says Rav Naftali Mirovshitz, Vayavrecha Gemalim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu at that time is now taking into account all the Gemalim. You know what's Gemalim? Milashon Gemilut Chesed. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with his Rachamim, he considers our mitzvot as if they are Chasadim to this world. Like it says in the Amidah, we say, Vezocher Chasdei Avot. What's a Chasdei Avot? It doesn't mean Hashem remembers the chesed of the avot that they did with people. That's not, that's not the pshat at all. V'zochel chasdei avot, it, it means the tzitkuyot of the avot. It means the ma'asim tovim. And the ma'asim tovim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu calls them chasadim. V'yavrech ha'gemalim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, on the day of Oshana Rabbah, le'et erev, le'et tzeta sho'evot, HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings out all the blessings of the gemalim, of the gemilut chesed of Am Yisrael, of the mitzvot that they did, and that's when he seals their fate and makes sure that they are going to be well paid for it. So he brings as follows. I have a few more minutes, no? Two more minutes. It says from the Sefer Ma'ov HaShemesh, Chachamim tell us in the Gemara in Masechet Sukkah, Ki shiv'im parei achag hayu krevim neged shiv'im ha'umot. Altogether, how many bulls were, were brought as korbanot throughout the duration of the seven days of Sukkot? Shivim parim. Seventy. Right? If you make the count, you'll see. Keneged. Shivim haumot. Corresponding to the seventy nations of the world. Ki umina tzorech lehavi am leman yaskimu sarei ha-shivim umot betovat Yisrael. Says the Maor Vashemesh. Says the reason why we bring these korbanot, it's in order to to calm down all the sarim of the umot haolam, so that they should be in agreement with Tovat Yisrael. Kadosh Baruch Hu, as if he's looking at them and saying, you see what I'm about to give? I'm about to pay back my people for all those slichot that they said, for all the tefillot that they did, for all the mitzvot, for the teshuvah that they did. Are you okay with it? Do I get your okay? Umal ane amen. All the shivim sarei umot, they say, yes, we're okay. So in order to appease them, we give them the pare achag. Because any good in this world comes only because of Am Yisrael. But because the Reshaim are always in tumult, so what do we do? We surround ourselves with a protective wall, a Chomat Barzel. And what are they? How do we make them? They are the circles that we make throughout Sukkot, the seven days of Akafot, and then on the day of Oshana Rabbah, seven times, so that the Umot Olam cannot trespass, cannot go beyond the boundary and harm and hurt Am Yisrael. Now, on Oshana Rabbah itself, it came down to the number of seven parim. Started off with 13, and 12, and then 11, and then on Oshana Rabbah, seven parim leneged klalut kola umot asher misparam nechlak lishviyot. That's the general number of all the umot haolam. Seventy bemispar katan is seven. That's why on Oshana Rabbah we also do seven hakafot to be machnia hashivim sarim in order to vanquish and to conquer the seventy sarim of umot haolam sheyukulam kvushim tachat Israel under the hand of Am Yisrael shelo laavored gevulam lehara lahem. End of quote from Maor Vashemesh. The day of Oshana Rabbah is so much packed with kedusha, with so much power, with which to be able to enter into that last day of the Yehuda Shelima, which is the day of Shmini Atzeret. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us the zechut to get through the night, Bigdusha u'betahora, and to uplift ourselves a little bit, to feel a kesher and a connection with the Kiddusha of the day. Rabbi Yechanan Amen HaKashia, Omer Atza HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lezakot Et Yisrael, Lefichach Yerba Laim Torah Mitzvot Shenayemar, Adonai Chafetz Lema Atitko, Yagdil Torah V'Yadir. Amen.